Shit. Place is crawling. This time we are reviewing Days Gone. Welcome back everybody. If you're new to this channel or here for the first time, please leave a like and subscribe so you can follow along with some of the great content that we got planned to bring to you guys. Days Gone is a survival open world game that was released in 2019 as a PlayStation exclusive, but was recently added to PC in 2021. The game takes place in post-apocalyptic Oregon after a pandemic outbreak that turned most people to zombies that they call freakers. You play as a guy named Deacon St. John, who's just trying to survive and look for his wife in the event that she happens to be alive. These tats are dead symbols of a dead man! Dead symbols! The story is fairly good, with enough variance to keep you intrigued and entertained while moving throughout the game. The main character seems to be a pretty good guy, with integrity and a strong moral code. The game makes it easy for you to root for them. Days Gone is well paced and allows for enough creative control to where you can go as fast or as slow as you would like. It also changes speeds nicely. You could be on a mission that requires stealth, where you need to take out enemies one by one, or you can run into a giant horde, where you have to take out a couple hundreds of the undead in a fast paced environment. The game is fairly realistic in the fact that in a post-apocalyptic scenario, your only enemy wouldn't be the undead. You have people and groups that are fighting for power, resources, and territory. The main story is fairly long and takes somewhere between 30 to 40 gameplay hours to complete. And if you do all the extra side missions, that'll add about another 15 to 20 hours to the game. The world is detailed and nicely laid out and structured with a pretty good and expensive map. You can ride around on your bike that you can upgrade from time to time from earning then spending camp credits that you get from the different communities for doing jobs for them. Those communities usually have a merchant there as well that you can buy additional weapons from. The main character is what they call a drifter. You ride to and from the different communities, working with them as essentially an independent contractor while also pursuing your own goals and missions. You can upgrade your character's skill level by completing these different missions. You can either improve their melee skills, long range weapon skills, or their survival skills. The order in which you decide to upgrade these is up to you and determined by what you deem is the most important or needed at that time. The combat system is probably my favorite part of the game. The melee system is pretty good with a wide variety of different weapons that you can use. Deacon carries a knife that he keeps in his boot on him at all times. So you can always use that. But there are many different items that you can pick up from the environment as well. You can use a 2x4, wooden bats, machetes, fire axes, and a bunch of other options. Melee weapons wear down as they take a lot of damage. But if you have the skill, you can repair them before they break. Just like the melee weapons, there's also a huge variety of different guns and bows that you can use. You can get different weapons off the bodies of dead enemies. You can also buy them from the different merchants at the camps. What specific gun or bow you want to use a lot of time will be determined by what your current mission is and what weapon you feel most comfortable using. There is also a pretty good crafting system where you can craft and build different bombs and explosives, molotovs, first aid kits, crossbow bolts, and enhanced melee weapons. One of the criticisms that people have of the game is that it doesn't have a multiplayer option. Also, sadly, there won't be a sequel as Sony declined that option. Days Gone is a surprisingly good game. The reviews that I saw when the game first came out, they never really got me interested in playing it for myself. So when I picked it up, I was definitely pleasantly surprised. It's a game I could definitely see myself going back to I'm putting in even more hours in. Now with all that being said, I give the game a 
8 out of 10. If you made it this far, thank you. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel so that you can see what we got coming up. I got a lot planned, but if there is anything specifically that you would like to see, let me know in the comments. Until next time, we're out. Peace.